One of the youngest heirs to the throne, how rich is Princess Eleanor? A popular figure in Spain, and her wealth is often discussed in the media. Some people believe that she is too wealthy, while others believe that her wealth is justified given her position. Welcome back to Mostly Wealth. Today we go on a royal ride unlike any other as we get into the lavish world of Princess Leonor, heir to the throne of Spain. From her extravagant palaces to her lavish events, we're about to uncover the secrets behind her ultra-luxurious lifestyle. But before we continue, make sure to stick around until the end, because we're also sharing you updates on our favorite princess. Let's get started. Who is Princess Leonor? Born on October 31st, 2005, at Madrid's hospital Ruber Internacional, Leonor bears the full name Leonor de Todos Los Santos de Borbón y Ortiz. As the eldest daughter of King Felipe VI and Queen Consort Letizia of Spain, the 18-year-old Leonor currently carries the distinction of being the Princess of Asturias. Her 16-year-old sister, Sofia, holds the title of Infanta of Spain. Leonor was granted all the traditional titles of the heir to the Spanish crown. These are Princess of Asturias, Princess of Girona, Princess of Viana, Duchess of Montblanc, Countess of Cervera, and Lady of Balaguer. Leonor was formally proclaimed heiress before the Cortes on the 31st of October, 2023, her 18th birthday. If Leonor ascends to the throne as expected, she will be Spain's first queen regnant since her fourth great-grandmother, Isabella II, who reigned from 1833 to 1868. Her net worth and education. The net worth of the Princess of Spain, Leonor de Todos Los Santos de Bourbon y Ortiz, is estimated to be around $2.2 million. This includes her inheritance from her father, King Felipe VI, as well as her own earnings from her royal duties and investments. Leonor attended the Santa Maria de los Rosales School in Madrid, which is a private bilingual school. The school offers education in both Spanish and English. This choice reflects the royal family's desire to provide her with a well-rounded education that includes proficiency in multiple languages. And after two years of school in the UK, Princess Leonor of Spain has completed her International Baccalaureate program. Spain, Queen Letizia, and King Felipe's 17-year-old daughter will graduate from UWC Atlantic on Saturday, May 20th. A princess won't be complete without her castle, Palacio de la Zarzuela. Princess Leonor resides in the Palacio de la Zarzuela in Madrid, Spain. This sprawling palace features over 135,000 square meters of living space, complete with luxurious furnishings, expansive gardens, and state-of-the-art amenities fit for royalty. It is home to King Felipe VI, Queen Letizia, and their daughters, Princess Leonor and Infanta Sofia. The palace was originally a hunting lodge for King Felipe IV and was built between 1627 and 1635. Formerly a rectangular building with two side wings, the residence is a far cry from what it is now. It now contains reception rooms, a library, a dining room, and King's office. The audience hall is where the monarchs receive visitors. The architect Juan Gomez de Mora designed a sober rectangular building in the typical Baroque style from Madrid, inspired by the villas by Andrea Palladio. Alonso Carbonell finished it with slate roofing, arched galleries, and an Italian garden with stepped fountains on three terraces, a vegetable garden, and a tree nursery. The decorative sculptures were made by Bartolome Zumbido, and the paintings are by Simon Lopez. At the end of the 18th century, Charles IV decorated it with tapestries, porcelain, lamps, furniture, and 18th century clocks. After the Spanish Civil War, the architect Diego Mendez rebuilt it, preserving its old structure and porticoed walls, and recreated the gardens designed by Gaspar Bandel in the 17th century. Unsurprisingly, like Letizia, her home is majestic and regal. One room boasts marble flooring, extravagant gold ornaments, and an intricate painting. Said painting is encased in a large golden frame. In total, the mansion has 11 bedrooms and 9 bathrooms. Outside the majestic building, there is an Italian garden, fountains, terraces, a vegetable garden, and a tree nursery. 
before we show you Princess Leonore at her glamorous events, what do you think of her lifestyle so far? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Princess Leonore at glamorous events. Now let's turn our attention to the glamorous events that Princess Leonore attends, where luxury knows no bounds. Whether it's a red carpet affair or a grand gala dinner, the princess dazzles in designer gowns and exquisite jewels fit for royalty. From rubbing shoulders with world leaders to mingling with A-list celebrities, Princess Leonore's social calendar is nothing short of spectacular. And with her poise, grace, and impeccable sense of style, she effortlessly captivates all who are fortunate enough to be in her presence. Princess Leonore at Princess of Asturias, awards ceremony in Oviedo. The teenager dressed professionally for someone her age in a white pantsuit and matching kitten heels. Throughout the ceremony, she remained stoic and solemn. Yet as she posed for the cameras afterward, she flashed a smile and revealed her braces in the process. Looking elegant, Leonor borrowed a pair of Bulgari diamond and aquamarine earrings from her mother's jewelry collection for the occasion. Princess Leonor is very much the young royal of the moment. The heir to the Spanish throne has similarly been coming of age, commencing her three years of military training in September, which will fully prepare her for the immense task ahead of her as future commander-in-chief of the Spanish Armed Forces. Over the past month, the palace has been releasing a stream of images of Leonor enjoying and thriving at the General Military Academy in Zaragoza. Now after a parade for Spain's National Day on the 12th of October, the 17-year-old princess was seen acting like any other Gen Z youth at a gala held at the Royal Palace of Madrid. Extravagant travels. The Spanish royal family spends their annual holidays in Mallorca. Queen Letizia, King Felipe, and their two daughters, Princess Leonor and Infanta Sofia, dressed down for the summer outing. While Infanta Sofia has seemingly been embracing the barbecue trend in recent months, it was her mother's turn on Monday. Letizia looked pretty in pink, wearing an Adolfo Dominguez dress. The Queen's daughters also opted for chic summer frocks, while Felipe wore a button-down shirt and pants. Whether it's soaking up the sun on the pristine beaches of the Mediterranean or exploring the cultural wonders of Europe's historic cities, Princess Leonore's travels are nothing short of extraordinary. And with her royal entourage in tow, every journey is a VIP experience from start to finish. Princess Leonore's philanthropic endeavors. While still in the early stages of her royal journey, Princess Leonore has shown an interest in various philanthropic causes. She has participated in events supporting cultural engagement, education, and youth empowerment. These early philanthropic efforts indicate a commitment to social causes, aligning with the modern approach taken by the Spanish royal family. Whether it's lending her support to children in need or raising awareness about pressing social issues, Princess Leonor's compassion and generosity shine through in everything she does. And with her unwavering commitment to serving others, she proves that true luxury lies in the ability to give back. As the heir presumptive to the Spanish throne, Princess Leonor carries significant responsibilities. Her position reflects the Spanish monarchy's modernization efforts as her father, King Felipe VI, has emphasized a more streamlined and focused royal family. Leonor is being groomed for her future role and she has gradually taken on official duties, attending events alongside her parents and representing Spain on certain occasions. So as we come to an end, we might think, the future shines bright on our next queen. Princess Leonor's future role as the potential queen of Spain holds great significance for the country and its monarchy. As she continues to grow and assume more responsibilities, the Spanish people will witness the shaping of a new era within the royal family. Leonor's legacy will be intertwined with the evolving dynamics of European monarchies and the enduring traditions of the Spanish crown. And there you have it, folks. A captivating glimpse into the ultra-luxurious lifestyle of Princess Leonor, where extravagance meets elegance at every turn. From her magnificent palaces to her glamorous events and philanthropic endeavors, the princess continues to inspire awe and admiration wherever she goes. Thanks for joining us on this royal exploration. 
What do you think of Princess Leonore's luxurious lifestyle? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more exclusive content on the world of luxury.